This week's top Disney news stories include a bunch of quick pieces including Milan, The Mandalorian, and some more updates regarding Chadwick Boseman. I'll also have a section about what's new on Disney+, Plus, so stay tuned and I'll break it all down. Well, hello there! My name is Jeremy, and welcome back to Freeform Disney, where I talk about all aspects of Disney, from the animated movies to the theme parks to Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar, and the TV shows, and everything else in between. And that is why it's Freeform. And keep coming back every day for new daily content. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now it's that time of the week once more, so on to this week's biggest Disney news stories. First up, I'm going to go briefly through a number of stories, Maybe a little bit more than a normal lightning round in depth, but we'll still call it that ever-popular lightning round. So quick headlines of bigger stories. The Mandalorian Season 2 has a premiere date finally. We know it's coming on October 30th over to Disney+. Plus. Still no news yet on when that trailer's actually going to drop, but can't wait to go ahead and see Season 2 and oh, looking forward to a trailer. Milan has been released up on Disney Plus and in some theaters. Now, while there has been some calls from boycotts based on star Yifei Lu's comments in support of the Hong Kong police last year, most people are only too happy to finally be able to see the movie after months and months of delay. Now, one other piece of Milan news that we have gotten is that it will be available to all Disney Plus subscribers for no extra cost starting December 4th. Now, that's a mere three months after the initial release, which is actually really quick for any movie to go ahead and get that kind of release on a streaming service. SeaWorld appears to be preparing for significant layoffs of its current furloughed staff. As I've talked about before, when Universal went ahead and did some significant layoffs, this may not be directly Disney news, but if we're seeing Universal do it, if we're seeing SeaWorld do it, you can expect the same will become true for Disney over at Disney World and Disneyland in the not-too-distant future as well, most likely. In MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe news, The Eternals, well, director Chloe Zhao has recently been talking about how she has deep, strong manga roots, which she has definitely brought into this movie. She's also talked about how the movie will explore ideas from both the East and the West. These are just tantalizing hints a little more at what we might come to expect about The Eternals when it finally comes out which is going to be early next year at this point in time. John Boyega recently spoke out about how people of color were pushed aside in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, namely his character of Finn and also Kelly Marie Tran's character of Rose Tycho. His comments highlighted how Finn was originally advertised to be much more important to the franchise and then pushed to the side. And that's certainly a true statement borne out by watching the movies. More news has been coming out recently regarding Chadwick Boseman's death. First off, there have been many, many stories and tributes shared about Chadwick Boseman and to him. The world is, well, unsurprisingly, still in shock. Chadwick Boseman was apparently convinced up until a week prior to his death that he would still beat the cancer. And we've also found out that nobody at Marvel Studios was aware of the fact he had cancer until less than an hour prior to his death. Chadwick Boseman was actually set to start training and preparing for Black Panther 2 this very month, with production set to start next March. And right now, everyone at Marvel Studios is still processing their grief and paying tribute to Chadwick Boseman, whose death is still very fresh in everyone's minds. And now, a kind of new section, which I think I've done once before in these news videos, to a new to Disney Plus section. So Friday, September 4th, saw a bunch of titles added to Disney+. Plus. So here's some of those highlights, according to me, anyway. First, we have a couple brand new things over on Disney+. Plus. Milan is now up and on Disney+. Plus. 30 bucks right now, but it is up there. And I'll have a review coming out on that shortly, in case you're curious. Earth to Ned is another new one. Now, it's a new series, and the entirety of it, all 10 episodes, are available right off the bat. So this is a talk show, Jim Henson Creature Shop show, and it also parodies while also being a talk show. So far, pretty fun. I'll probably have a review of that coming up here sometime in the next week or so as well. I've watched the first few episodes, and mm, definitely good so far. We also had a couple season finales pop up over onto Disney+. Plus. 
Muppets now had its final episode for season one. Well, I think it was the best episode of the entire season. Don't know if we're getting a season two on that yet or not. And in case you're curious, I've done videos on each one of the six episodes, so feel free to check those out. The other one we got a season finale for was Pixar in real life. So that is the 11th and final episode. And hey, it's been a good show. Definitely check it out. If you're curious about a little more of an overview, I've got a video on that as well. And hey, then there are also a couple movies that have made their way over to Disney Plus finally that have been out for years and finally made their way this way. We've got The Wolverine, the second of Hugh Jackman's standalone Wolverine movies, and also Never Been Kissed, Drew Barrymore's movie from, oof, geez, a few decades now. So those are both up on Disney Plus now as well. And as always, One Day at Disney has yet another new episode there. This one takes a look over at Alice Taylor of Studio Lab. So bunches of stuff to catch on Disney+. Plus. Anyone who tells you there's nothing new, well, certainly this week is definitely not the case for that. And hey, there you have it. So that's the news for this week. What do you think about the Milan or Star Wars controversies? And are you busy watching Disney+, Plus? let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, share with anyone you think will too, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you again back here tomorrow for another new episode of Freeform Disney. Have a magical day, and may the Force be with you, always.